In this new tutorial, you'll learn how to use the new JSON Codable Swift 4 functionality. You will learn how to decode a JSON object, do a custom decoding, encode a Swift struct to JSON. Swift 4 has introduced the JSON encoder and decoder functions used to do the decoding or encoding jobs. The codable protocol that contains the decodable protocol for the struct decoding and the encodable protocol for the struct encoding. You'll firstly have to define your custom struct that implements the decodable or encodable protocol. If your struct should do both the operation, implement the codable protocol that contains both, then you'll have to call the Swift JSON function. Let's see how to extract a JSON object into a Swift structure. We have a structure defined by an array of object, defined by a name, an integer ID and an optional string. Here, how the struct looks like, remember to implement the decodable protocol. Call now the decoder, by passing the JSON data and the struct type. In this case, we have an array defined by a custom struct, so we need to use the square brackets. Let's see now how to do a custom decoding. We have a JSON object in which the ID is defined as a string. Moreover we want to fill some optional parameter, in the case they are nil. Let's define a struct. It's the same as before. However, since we want to do a custom decoding operation, we'll have to define the object keys with the coding key feature. We just have to map all the keys we want to extract. Define now the decodable protocol. We have to implement the init from decoder function. The JSON decoding operation is performed by calling the same function as viewed in the previous example. To encode a struct into a JSON object, you'll have to define your custom encodable struct. Everything is then done by the new Swift functionality. In the video description, you can find the Swift Playground project, with the three different examples. If you want to receive other tutorial like this, subscribe to this channel.